Hey everyone, I am Dahlia. And I'm Alma. This is Nightmare on Fifth Street, a horror movie podcast. <laughs> oh, no, stop it. <laughs> breaking news, breaking no, news. There's, <laughs> no, there's no breaking news. It you know, when I news. say don't do that, it's like a don't do it. And then Dahlia is like, no, let me turn it up a little. <laughs> Well, Let's it go is ahead breaking and do news. that thing that I'm doing. Because we are in hiatus, yet we have decided to come out of our holes because we don't go outside in the summertime. At least I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> and uh, it's decided too hot. that we are. It's too <laughs> fucking hot, yeah. <laughs> We've decided to do uh, a few bonus summer episodes, and we already did Jaws. We did Jaws. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a 12 year old boy. Um, and now it is Piranha. So. Yeah, we'll get into Piranha here in a little bit. But what Alma's muted and she's like miming at me. What are you? What, what's going on? What's going on? You got a story to tell? What's up? <laughs> I was saying, well, it makes sense. It flows from one to the other. Uh, Jaws inspired all these movies, and of course, Piranha came from it. Three years after Jaws. <laughs> speaking of Jaws, that's why I said Jaws. Speaking of Jaws, I we put it on last night. Jaws two, and as it was starting, it was playing. I couldn't fucking remember anything about the fucking movie. I, I couldn't rem- I watched it, but Jaws, the first one, Jaws 3, I remember vividly, Jaws 4, <laughs> because it's fucking stupid. And, um, but yeah, I don't, I didn't remember anything about Jaws 2 and I know I've seen it, but yeah, it was just like, this is really this strange and awkward because I love all the Jawses mm. and, um, I did not know that you... <laughs> That I forgot of his like, existence. I love SeaWorld Jaws. I love Revenge of the Jaws. <laughs> well, it's fun oh, to watch because well, it's stupid, but oh, I'm just really? saying it's yes, stupid. Of course. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, the the second one, I get more enraged than the first one um, because of the way that Brody is treated. It's uh-huh. just like, I don't oh, that's know right. why you you're, so you're Brody bro. I told you. <laughs> I'm like, to to the soul, and then the wife is getting like sexually harassed by. See, I, I don't even remember the last time I saw it, but I remember how she was getting sexual sexually harassed by her by new her boss, boss or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like, oh, you know. So there's like, mm, I feel I feel so passionate yeah. about. <laughs> I, I can see that. I can definitely see that. <laughs> okay, so but today we're talking about piranha, and we've had this discussion lately that it's really cool. Like in the seventies, maybe early eighties. They didn't give a shit about killing kids. They fucking killed the fucking kids. So we felt a part of it because we were kids at the time. And we were like, oh, oh my fucking God. Because like, it touched us. Like, it could be us. Like, it, Piranha was a real fucking sense. fear of mine. It was. Yeah. You know, these movies really did put a fear in me. And I'm trying to remember the uh, the third one that um, kind of got me. But I used to check everything. And um, it was like all bodies of water. Because all of these movies that were inspired by the fear of being in the water, swimming pool, uh, pools and everything like that, the ocean, lakes, rivers. But Piranha, here I was thinking, there are little... Um, Fucking fish. Oh my god. <laughs> How come nobody cares about the piranha? I and, cannot. Uh, we're I know. like we're we're talking about the shark and they're like, oh, it gives sharks a bad name. Uh what about the piranha? It's really not the piranha that is capable of eating like this. It's actually another fish, uh, which I learned on that show. You know that that show with that dude who talks about the fish um no. monster. Oh my gosh, what's name? We love it so much. He's amazing. And he talks about the fish and he goes to try to catch them. Are you talking about Josh and, Gates or not? And, uh, is that his name? Oh, we'll figure it uh, out later. You're usually bad. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, it's like this piranha in this one gave me the fear. And I really thought that they were like these scary tiny fish with yeah. little tiny sharp teeth just chewing up and eating everybody. Oh and God. I never get that sound out of my head of the way when they attack, which is actually a drill bit. I think it was a dentist drill bit. That is, is it? Because wor- I was going to talk water. about the fucking sound of them eating because I thought it sounded adorable. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like, what the you fuck? thought it was adorable? It sounds it's still kind of 
unsettling adorable. to me. It's adorable because it's like it doesn't it doesn't sound scary at all. And then it's little teeth biting into the flesh, like oh, it's just gonna take a little nipple, just a little nipple. And then like when I was nibbling on the kids, it's like num 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 num. And why would a school of piranha be like? I'm just gonna eat the grown ups, and we bring this up all the time. What the hell is up with monsters and their appetite? Um, I know we're supposed to suspend, suspend some belief here, but don't they ever get full? They're eating so many people, well, and yet they still keep eating it. Each true, small. true. But did you see the way small. they were? Yes, stomach small. They probably have a, a very fast digestive system. That's what I'm thinking. So they shit that shit. Oops, sorry. They shit that shit out quick. Um, the other thing I was thinking is, if you look at the actual bodies when they lay out the bodies after they're they've been piranid, um, it it looks like a whole bunch of superficial um, biting. So like. It doesn't really get down deep into the tissue too much. Um, uh, okay. But the I people like that. are it's not but, deep tissue. Yeah, but the, they're that's dying. Good. They're dying. So they're probably uh-huh. hitting some arteries along the way. That, that's what I'm thinking. The ar- they're hitting the arteries. They're, people are bleeding Vampiric to death. Vampiric. What? Piranha. Vampiric. <laughs> Vampiric. Piranha. <laughs> piranha. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking is happening here because when they showed the people, I was like, it looks pretty superficial. Mm. But then I have to like I have to add something to 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 think of why people would be dying. Okay, artery hit because like when they're underwater, the mm-hmm, they're mm-hmm. getting hit in the femoral artery. You know the femoral artery. Let's get scientific. Okay. <laughs> you could bleed out. You could bleed out <laughs> fucking quick there. And then when people start going, what about infection? <laughs> well, infection is a delay. I'm talking about infection is delayed. Yes. So if you survive that, mm. and then you know how people get like this flesh eating. Um, um, uh, Ugh, infections yeah. in like mm-hmm. you know dirty bacteria filled. I would think lakes. These, these people that could would be, be later. getting septic. Yeah. So the mm-hmm. people later, mm-hmm. if you survive, if you're lucky enough not to bleed to death from getting your, you know, your 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 femoral or maybe um, I don't know your your any artery that gets hit because when you get pulled mm-hmm. under, then you can get your jugular right here. Oh my god. Yep. That's right here. Like like yeah. it's like touch mm-hmm. it, touch it. Ooh, that's and most so of the juicy. time you're underwater, <laughs> your little your legs, you got you know, yeah. it's it's like a, a, I was thinking all that. I was like, but the the biggest one was um I was like, I I definitely would have gotten had enough time to get out of the water. <laughs> They're not holding you in the water. No. Okay. This is one of the big questions we always ask. Are you gonna survive the piranha attack, Dahlia? I think I could. I consider myself mm-hmm. a strong swimmer. <laughs> Will it fucking hurt as I'm getting bit to death by these tiny, cute little baby teeth? <laughs> yes. But I feel like I could kick, kick, kick my way to the shore or to safety. Well, you know what? I wouldn't get in the lake. I wouldn't get in <laughs> That's right. I forgot. Of water. They're too murky. So therefore, I wouldn't. No, if I'd gotten in the water, I have like this system of staying alive. It's like I'm going to work the hardest possible with my life vest on to not ever get into the water. So like I am I'm pushing the paddle boat. I'm rowing the boat. I'm holding on for dear life in that river boat, whatever it is that's keeping me on top of that water. I am not getting in that water. But I always think to myself, I will get away from those piranhas it's like they're not holding you they're gonna bite you a bunch i might lose my legs you know what i mean and i know what to do immediately rinse off with some good water (laughs) anyway one of the interesting things i found was i was reading like different um um like synopsis of the movie and in some places it says like oh a few people died at that point um, dozens and another point. Um, it mentions like, oh, the counselor died. And I'm like, uh, a lot of people died. A lot of people were getting killed in this movie. And I need an accurate count here because from the beginning of the movie, you have those two people that hop in. And that's the most unbelievable part of the movie. If you, you want to like suspend belief and we have tiny, cute little fish in the water nibbling everybody to death. Um, it's that two people find a locked body of, it's not even a body of water. It looked like it was like a reservoir, right? They break in it. And one of the things that uh, one of the guys says is like, do you think it's sewage? It looked like a sewage treatment plant. I would never have thought that that was a swimming hole or a swimming <laughs> pool or a swimming anything. If anything, yeah, I think, yeah, sewage treatment, plant, something, or 
maybe I also would have thought like fish farming, you know, that type of thing. I went and I thought I could jump in and like swim. Yeah, those are the two things I was thinking was like the the fish farm as well. And you just get undressed and hop in. I mean, and it's like a two for one. They both get eaten up by the piranha. And then you have um, investigators who do stupid things and then release, we release all the piranha into the water. And I love each of the characters, uh, the, the characters in this movie, because it's like, um, who does she get to help? And it kind of seems bumbling here and there. And like the guy who's the one dude who's protecting the world from the school of um, murderous piranha is just like, ah, ah, and he's getting, um, you know, and then eventually he gets killed or whatever. But <laughs> I love uh, this movie because it's like an equal opportunity killer. It's like whoever gets in the water is going to get killed. And then he's like, the, there's one guy who's the only one who, who makes any sense. It's like, okay, so the fish are coming through here and you cut off this, but there's other ways to get to the water. Is he the only one? And that stupid lady, that? she's all like, we don't think they're smart enough. Uh, when you fucking are looking for food, any animal is smart enough to sniff out that fucking food. Period. Um, I, and it's, yeah. it's, it's water. They, they just keep swimming. If something walks <laughs> the way out, swimming, they're just going to swim around. Swimming. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't even make any sense. It's like, come on, guys. <laughs> So I kind of, this dude really fucking annoyed me. Uh, the main dude. He, the, the stuff of the stuff he said was so fucking ugly and sexist and shitty. But I love her reactions. The, you know, I'm bad with names, but I love the, his, his counterpart's reaction to all this stuff. Like there was this one part where he wants her to go and flirt with the guard or something like that and she's like well what do i do and he's like talking to her all ugly and blah, 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 making her do it right and she's like okay because you know they have to find a way to do the stuff that they're doing and she turns around well what if he's gay and he's like well then i'll go flirt with him or whatever he said <laughs> I, just thought, I was like okay all right you're forgiven for for like half a second but then there's another part where he's like telling uh, her to take off the pants of the guard because they need the keys or something and he's like, hurry up, take the keys, keys out, take off his pants. And she's like, she's having trouble. I thought you would be able to, uh, I thought you would be better at pulling men's pants off. I was like, what the fuck? And, but she just, yeah, that was a but weird she just thing looks, looks up at him me. and like, does this kind of funny little thing, which I liked her character. Cause she was just, you know, she didn't just take it. She was like doing this kind of back and forth with mm. him. But the shit that came out of his mouth was so fucking, I'm like, what the fuck? This guy is totally <laughs> not likable to me. He wasn't likable. Yeah. He's trying to do all this well, good it, stuff, but his. God, he was ugly. <laughs> he was someone kind of, it, it didn't, it didn't make sense to me. Um, okay. So we have the Maggie and I thought she was cute as shit and Grogan and Grogan. I love the voice you did for him because he didn't sound like that at all. <laughs> he sounded like a 50 year old cigar smoker, <laughs> but um, uh, she finds him and he's supposed to be like the expert. And she wakes him up, and I think they think of him as the um, the like he's an alcoholic, um, the the trope of the the town drunk uh, that nobody's going to take seriously. But he doesn't come off that way, and um, he's supposed to be the expert that she uses to get from one place to the other. But she is like very good at her job. She's like a skip tracer, which is the coolest sounding job title. Isn't that sound cool? I'm like, oh yeah, just, you got to be a badass like to a be a skip tracer, yeah. And she found where those um, that two missing people were to begin with. That's how she came upon the piranha. But he is our expert, and it just uh, it it doesn't feel right, you know. And also because he's kind of like trying to be in charge of everything, but they're both doing really stupid shit. Like they lose their Jeep, it gets ruined, they don't have a ride. And how long are they chasing these piranha? We have one scene to the next scene. It's like, how many days is this? And the whole time Grogan's attachment to this um, scenario is that his daughter's at a camp yeah. that they keep saying is just at the edge yeah. of the of the lake or whatever river. Uh -huh. And they can't get from there to there. I if you can't get to there in the boat, then get in a fucking vehicle and get there. I just, it didn't make There's no other cars. It didn't make sense it, to it, me. It, 
it goes on a little too long mm-hmm. for this kind of like a well they, they needed they needed an opportunity to get they needed to give the piranhas an opportunity to go over there and eat some babies Plain yes. and simple. They need and to go over there and eat the kids. That is the part that we appreciate. Equal opportunity <laughs> killers. Yeah, they do when we kill were little, them kids. They yeah, eat everyone. Yeah, it's like, like I said, it, it, we felt like we were seen. Like, oh, they're not just getting <laughs> horny teenagers. They're getting little kids who are just trying to have fun. Because <laughs> these kids were just yeah, trying and to they, have fun. Yeah, and they start the movie with a couple of horny teenagers, right? Because they go skinny dipping or whatever. And then they did a little, uh, it's a little, just like yeah. regular... Yeah, and us. then it goes for the kids, <laughs> and then ends up at the big um, grand finale, like in Jaws, um, yeah, at yeah. the beach scene where, oh, terror! Um, we can't stop our tourism. We don't know what's going on, and then the whole, the whole reason this all ends up um, transpiring is because nobody leave, believes Grogan, yep. <laughs> because he drinks too much, yeah. and when he warns people. Nobody listens and nobody, it ever occurred to anyone to call police, pick up the phone. Do, 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 do. Yeah. They end up in jail that time that you were talking about mm-hmm. um, her removing the pants and the way that they break out of the jail is almost, it, it is comical because it is. it's a little too intricate. It's like she breaks the sink mm-hmm. and I'm like, so, okay, so she's going to flood it. And you're waiting for each other. Yeah. Like, you're like, she's going to flood and wait patiently for them to bring in like maybe a custodial crew uh-huh. to come and then she'll steal their keys or something. No, she breaks up part of the sink and then she, she ends up hitting that one officer over that she could have killed him. <laughs> and that's how they end up breaking out it's like why is she doing so much here and it's just it's, yeah, all it's funny because but... she could have killed him and he does remark on that because it's like well what did you use she says she used the uh, uh, the lid and the lids on toilets are fucking heavy as fuck and and he makes his face like god damn girl that's a bit much <laughs> And but I love her. Her she's just her attitude is just like yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Uh, she she just fucking does. She's a doer. She's a fucking doer, and that's why she's good at her job. Um, so the part where we're at the this is near the end. The big no, well, it was right before actually the big kill. The big piranha feast. Mm-hmm. Um, the when feast, they go the to buffet. the <laughs> when they go to the kids <laughs> camp, um, and we have his daughter, who by the way. Is fucking adorable. Isn't that, wasn't that little girl just the most adorable little shit you've ever seen in your life? She's so adorable. She's not going into the water. She'd already been told by one of the camp counselors she didn't have to go. The other camp counselor dude comes up and like, you have to get in the water. She's like, ah. So she Mm. goes and she hides under a a boat that's turned upside down so that she doesn't have to go out there. And I thought that was adorable. I would have done that. Mm. I mean, there many a times in high school, I used to go hide in the bathroom of uh, yeah, school good. and just in a stall <laughs> and just not leave for several classes. But anyways, that's not about me. It's about this little girl hiding. So I totally felt her. But then she sees everything happening. She sees all the little kids getting uh, attacked, some of the camp counselors. And what does this little girl do? I would not have gone into the water. I'll tell you that much. I would have stayed the fuck out. I'm safe out here. She gets in the little boat. She carries her boat with her little tiny arms. She gets in the boat with her little tiny arms. She rows out to go help people. She was adorable. And it was adorable because at first she tried to flip over a a larger boat. And she couldn't do it on her own, which is very realistic. And I love the, the, the fact that they took the time to show her doing that. And then she gets the one that can be popped, like the inflatable one. And I love that she did that because when we see all these camp movies, you see all the camp movies. The thing that I think is special about this one is that the camp counselors were actually very sweet. You think about Sleepaway Camp and there was the one that helps and who is very sweet, but then they have like the asshole ones. In this one, they were all being very helpful to her and understanding that she didn't like being in the water. And that's why she wanted to go rescue them. And it was very sweet. And meanwhile, like, there's like 50 kids in the lake getting eaten slowly, trying to get their stupid inner tubes to the <laughs> to come inside. And then that idiot who runs the camp, who didn't listen to Grogan um, about the piranha coming and everything, he's just like losing his, his shit because he's like, oh, I fucked up. But he's not helping, you know, and then the poor um, counselor gets eaten. But at that same time, other children are killed as well because 
they couldn't get out of the water. There was way too many of them. And for some reason, the only thing that they were using was inner tubes. So they were stuck. So then we go from one point. Grogan gets there just in time. I love saying that for nothing because everybody has already been eaten or chewed up. And then he's like laying there like, this is my fault for not believing you. <laughs> the, yeah, he this Yeah, he, he was useless at that point, though, I thought. Because like, is this the one? No, I think it's after this when they show the boat like speeding um, to the next destination and it's like going so fast it's like it keeps hitting all the waves which is kind of funny I don't know I won't get into it but anyways it's just it's like hitting all this these waves along the way um, and it's just like that's how they're trying to show us how fast it's going because when it'll hit it it'll fly in the air for a little bit and just keep going like that um, and that I think is the scene you were talking about that seemed like it took them forever to get to their destination because they had time for all these people over at the beach <laughs> um i i don't know oh, sorry yeah like what do you i guess they're technically all beaches yeah. right mm -hmm. because it's like it's like a river but uh they're having like some sort on of the event. sand i don't even know what i, what I guess they're saying because i know when i lived in the in the mm -hmm. north like along the um I, I forget which lake it was but the great lakes they called that a beach so anyways um all these people just start and and again equal opportunity we're getting we're getting old people we're getting young people we're getting teenagers we're getting oh there's another little kid over there nibble 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 um the only thing i i, I in these movies i always want and they don't go in is the fucking mayor to go in through the water so that they could get in and you know it didn't happen in jaws <laughs> they're telling everybody else to go in the water um but you know oh, in that part where he's like he, he gets a phone call from somebody and he's like i told you not to use that word it's like dude what the fuck? First of all, it, it is what it is. And secondly, they're on the phone. They, nobody else can hear that. Just you, you idiot. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> yeah. So he it just gets to see like the aftermath, like this all could have been prevented if it was, if only I had done one thing, <laughs> which is like, just close the fucking beach. But I like that aftermath scene because it shows that a lot of people were killed. He fucked up real bad. And hopefully you know, he goes to prison or something because, you know, they fucked up. They let this happen. It was like, so I think it's like a failed, the, the military this whole time is what, who's following them, right? Yeah. Um, the police are made aware too, because they were arrested. The police arrested yeah. uh, Grogan and Maggie mm -hmm. and to slow them down from helping. Anyway, this was like a failed Vietnam experiment where they were trying to mutate these piranha yeah. to kill the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to kill everybody. But then, of course, that does sound very military-like. We don't care if any of ours guys die, too. You yeah. Know. And they had this little this little laboratory in the beginning. A laboratory. Remember? I the, remember that. All of the little mutated specimens. And there was <laughs> Sorry, a little tiny, why I did that. adorable <laughs> <laughs> claymation-like um, dinosaur thing that was That moving thing was around. the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen, and I love it. I want to see that. But why didn't I they make? They were supposed to do more with it, I guess, budget, you know, or whatever. But I want to see that movie. I want to see too. the chompy, tiny little. <laughs> what's going on here? Well, when I started um, watching it, and that that scene is in the very beginning, and I was like, uh, "Am I watching the right movie?" So I had to make sure I was watching yeah. Piranha. I'm like, "How come I don't remember any of this shit here?" Probably because you know the the piranhas are the actual thing that that attack the kids. So that's where my brain went. But I didn't remember that whole scene in the beginning and that fucking little thing coming out. <laughs> All right. It has okay. nothing to do with any of it. I guess maybe just to prove also they kept it in that they were experimenting yeah. on shit. Yeah. And then they have this one dude in charge of keeping the piranha at bay. And what is he feeding them? Like he has them in a holding tank. What, what are they feeding? eating? How are they <laughs> Nothing. They don't even, Horny just teenagers little... that come by. And... <laughs> I don't know. Once a day, they, they put up a sign that says, free skinny dude, come on in. And that's what the, how many piranha were in there? And she empties it so quick because she turns that switch Ghostbuster style. You know, she's I love like, that scene. I'm going to turn this shit off. I love that Ghostbuster scene. We're going to empty this thing. Oh, what, what button do I push? push this button here. Okay, push. Why are those buttons always so easy to fucking find and, and activate? I mean, yeah. give me a fucking break. <laughs> and all of the 
and then they just completely transport from one, one from one mm-hmm. spot to the next. And um, and now there's I... so many that they can eat <laughs> all these people. Uh huh. And I like how they leave they leave it hanging at the end, like um, this the the one uh, scientist lady. Uh, you know, she's following, tracking everything, and then she's pretending like she's oblivious to what's going on. And it just kind of leaves it open ended. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's just, they're just going to go out to the world. And then they show that. And eventually we get, <laughs> eventually we get Piranha uh, 3D, the, the remake or the newer what one. What is it? With, is uh, it a, a reboot, Shoe. a remake, a, a sequel? What is it? I don't know. I always think of those like uh, like a reboot, remake. What's it called? Like the uh, reimagine. I don't know, but <laughs> you have to watch it. Everybody needs to watch it. There's a part where the dudes, um, the piranha, uh, chomps off the dude's penis, and then it just goes floating. It goes in all three D motion. Oh my god, that was so the ah! It's that dude too. It was glorious. It was that dude, right? Um, what's his name? Um, yes. Why can't I think of his Connell. name? Connell. Oh, Connell. Uh, Connell. Yes. Oh, uh, um. Jerry O'Connell. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> if I said it wrong, I apologize. He's from Stand By Me. That That's all I, I remember. He's from Stand By Me. Mm, the only and the that the biggest critique I have of that movie was just that the three they go to the beach and they kill. Yeah, they kill all those people and not one kid is killed. So it's like, yeah, there's like hundreds. Are you, of people were you at the yelling beach, in the back of the theater? Don't kill, kill the kids! <laughs> Why are the kids dying? <laughs> Eat up! <laughs> Pretty much. So um, nobody saves the day in this one because nope. a lot of people are fucking killed. Yeah. Mm, and and then we see, <laughs> and then we see, like I said, that I just love how it ends when it's showing just the beach, the ocean, like as she's talking, I think she's talking and then she stops talking and it's like, then you get the gist like, oh, look at that. They're going out to the ocean. And then there's part deux. I don't remember part deux. Do you? Um, I think that's one I just remember in the boat. Um, like they're in the boat. Um, and are they in a boat? Uh, some of the scenes that get <laughs> well because it, it like they break through the boat and they start uh, okay. eating people. But um, one of the good scenes from this one I like is when he goes to shut down like uh, parts of the water and he's like he has to swim underwater and he wraps a rope around oh, himself. Oh yes, <laughs> and he tells her to pull him out. And she, he gets yanked out of the water, which is what you said. Like, there's no way it's going to eat you that fast. It mm-hmm. chomps him up a little bit. But they do that in the Piranha 3D as well, where they wrap the uh-huh. rope out. And then she yanks him out yeah. to try to save the day. For some reason, I do remember them um, being a couple. Like, when I originally saw it, I thought that they were, like, husband and wife or something oh, like this, that. Oh, this crew here? Yeah, that's how uh, I remembered it. Oh, you but remember that. But they're yeah, uh-huh. nice. that's how I remembered it. And they just kind of insinuate that one night that she sleeps with them. But I like the insinuation. Yeah. There is a part where even though she, uh, like they, there's a breast scene, like the breasts, because you got to show women's boobs. You're and all obsessed the movies. with breasts. Yes. But she didn't <laughs> want to because at the time she was married. So they did get a body double for her. Um, okay. So that that wasn't really that's hers. So sorry to let you all down. Those aren't her boobies. Some other chick's boobies. <laughs> All right. But at least there's boobies, you know. You yeah, for those booby lovers yeah. out there, all those babies <laughs> liking all that. Breast and if milk. you're a penis lover, <laughs> piranha, piranha 3D for those yeah. penis lovers. Penis lover, the piranha 3D, booby lover, piranha, the original, <laughs> regular, original, <laughs> the original. And this movie almost didn't get made because they were gonna like, well, not didn't get made, like released because Universal Studios was gonna sue them because they were like, it's too related to jaws or Shut whatever the fuck up. And, really fuck you yeah, fuck yeah. You. and uh i think it was uh yeah they were like no it isn't <laughs> just drop that no it isn't. stop it's being fine. stupid do your movie <laughs> don't be stupid <laughs> oh god okay so um i totally always recommend this movie because i just think it's fun mm-hmm. and i think the little- i think it's a shutter Yes, it is on Shutter. Yeah, it's on Shutter. So if you have Shutter, it's mm-hmm. available on other places too. I think uh, Tubby too for free. Mm-hmm. Um, other places, but yeah. And I, I was going to say something, and it just completely slipped my mind. It was about this fucking movie. Damn, that's my brain these days. Baby teeth, baby. Oh teeth yes, that's what I was going to talk about. The cute little baby teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I just think these fish are adorable, and the little noises that they make are. <laughs> this is so cute. Or How can you be afraid of these? I was terrified when I was little. 
Now, as an adult, I can see that they're just hungry. They can't help it. They're, they were they were hungry. It's not their fault. They were in that holding tank and nobody was feeding them, but only skinny dippers once in a while. <laughs> How are they supposed to survive? Okay, they're I'll probably go. all inbred too. I don't oh even know gosh, how this shit works. <laughs> Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> I've never looked it up. <laughs> uh, so that was Piranha. P-I-R. This is how I was spelling it. I'm, I'm going to spell it how I spelt it. P-I-R-A-N-N-H-A. Because I was doing the whole... Oh, this is the extra N. Yeah, this but I, I was adding N. too much. Kind of like the whole diarrhea thing. When I spell diarrhea... Ooh, it, that's a fun word. Yeah. <laughs> so I was I was doing very diarrhea with this. Um, but no, it's just a P-I-R-A-N-H-A. Uh -huh. What? People are listening to this. Can we move on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about real diarrhea. I'm talking about the word diarrhea. I know, but I mean, like, this has nothing to do with it. <laughs> it sure does. It's called phonics, okay? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm it's saying. It's I'm not, yeah, whatever. Anyways, I'm not even taking my pain meds anymore. This is, this is me. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So we talked about Jaws. We talked about Piranha this summer. We have one mm -hmm. more movie coming up. What is that movie? I don't fucking know. I don't know. What is it? I don't fucking know. But we're going to talk about it. Oh, okay. I thought, you, I thought you were asking me and I just don't no, remember. No, I'm just saying. I'll just pull something. We have one more bonus bonus episode coming up soon. Okay, and cool. we'll figure the fuck out of it. It'll be something summary. If mm -hmm. summary, S-U-M-M-A-R-Y. Why am I spelling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a fucking oh spelling bee now. <laughs> That's my about. All right. Thank you so much, no, everybody. I'm for... not done. I'm not done. <laughs> Alma, where can people find us online? Oh, okay. You ah. can go to our website. <laughs> I don't know why. Nightmare. <laughs> and I've told her not to interrupt me when I do these. I'm sorry. Uh, Nightmare Movie Podcast. I'm, I'm going to mute myself oh. right now, okay? So you can keep talking. <laughs> go to our website, nightmaremoviepodcast.com. I am ignoring my sister. Um, you can go to our Instagram at Nightmare Movie Podcast. Our Twitter is at Nightmare on Fifth. That's Nightmare on Five TH. And we have a Patreon and a Buy Me Coffee if you're interested in those. Uh, we re really appreciate y'all listening. You can like us, review us, but like the podcast, not just us, because we're much. I th too I person <laughs> I personally like us more than the podcast. <laughs> Okay, so Al Alma has now muted herself because she's tired of my shit. Um, if you all are, all these links will be in the show notes, but if you're interested in our Patreon, we are patreon.com slash nightmare movie podcast. And if you don't want to become a patron, you can also just do a one time donation over at buymeacoffee.com slash nightmare pod. Yes, please. May I have some more? Fill my cup, please. The fuck the morning people cup? <laughs> Oh, yeah, this one specifically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thank you for joining us. And until next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.